Okay, so this is the Warlock, and I was going to give uh, explanations, more bitching about all the intricate things <laughs> that are being dished out on Warlock Superman. No, that's not important. I have to try to stay off my little little uh, house of horrors. <laughs> Literally, when I say house of horrors, because I have horrors, doesn't matter how complex outside when I go out and indoors and you you've seen some examples and I'm not gonna touch on those but it's been let's just say I don't want to say that's what I'm saying that I don't want to say the details and how it's changing because it's not about me and that that's what makes it most difficult that I'm trying to teach people what's happening in the spiritual changes what's happening with karma <laughs> some people don't like to face the truth or at all or hear about it or even contemplate it and I've had some solid proof which I won't talk about because nevertheless uh, no I'm not going that way whether I have uh, audio visual proof or not and, and look even the one that I have does it serve a purpose no people just like an ostrich it puts its head in this in the sand or it, it's like the world right now the people dishing out the uh, draconian rules or manipulation or torture, torment, or even in wars, or even in, let's just say, so, okay, who's been hearing the news? Never mind what happened with Trump and who knows what's going to happen. And Because Trump could be the, it could be the best thing that Trump might even have problems with. Because sometimes, you know what they say? A good thing is a bad thing and a bad thing is a good thing. It's, it's, I don't know if I'm going to get into that, but all I could tell you is that, you know, when you see these news things, when people say, well, because there's so much crime, we're going to put this bill, this and don't believe the news, don't believe the news, uh, that the fluoride is good for you. Do your own research. Try to, because if you're not a sensitive person, you don't see it. Like me, I don't need confirmation from a doctor. I don't need confirmation for pollution. I don't need confirmation what's good or bad for me because I sense it like snap. Okay, maybe the things that have happened to me that sometimes they study it how not to make it so snap. But still, it's, it, it, it doesn't take more than seconds or even a few minutes for me to know what's happening in the environment or what am I eating or, 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 or whatever. And probably, I'm not saying I could protect myself from it because the world is full of... It, it, it's bad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It's bad, but it's still within the 3D realm, which is not us. And which we are participating, it's like saying people that we think are evil or bad or draconian or authoritarian, they're good deep inside. Yes, you don't see it, but that's the whole point of life. Life, we don't see that we shine and we don't need to experience this 3D experience. That's why it's so cool. You enjoy life so much more. Look at me physically. If people have known, seen my channel, there is nothing for me to be happy about. Yet here I am <laughs> laughing and giggling and it's not sarcasm. Sometimes it is. I admit sometimes it is. But we have to live in our happy state. But we can't force it. It's just because if you try to do it the same way that authorities are trying to control us, all you get is conflict. And even me, I'm saying, what am I doing? Okay, maybe I'm not doing it. I'm a little passive aggressive, sarcastic aggressive proof aggressive but even though i'm not physically making big complaints or even if i want to i don't think i'd be able but even if i'm not making a lot of things in my personal warlock system i'm still playing a tit for tat i'm still playing into i'm being triggered by them obviously it has a lot to do with what i'm physically living which is a horror story and people have an idea it's just more disgusting and horrible than, than you think. And I see it. Oh, I don't want to say yeah because I don't want to go into my... I just want to stay away from... And it's not out of fear. Again, no, not at all. I'm so itching to do something to show them that no, it's not the way. Don't do that. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. There could be bad consequence. But... And from what I've seen from certain things on my channel that have disappeared after I know they're aware that there are dangers just like when the paperwork said I am dangerous no I am not but what I'm it's almost like saying you know when you hook yourself up I don't know how it works if there's a few people going up a mountain and they're all like chained together either none fall or all fall I don't know maybe it's safer the real way because I never did mountain climbing I did I did do a mountain scaling when I was young like three story high about 
with no net, no cords, just kids will do the darndest things. Kids, I wasn't like five years old. I was like, I don't know, 10 or up, uh, higher, uh, older than 10. So we have that hormone thing. So that's what I'm saying. People, it's almost like that when you're young, you take more risk. It's, a, it's an inborn thing. And, and you're also more flexible while well, to a certain limit. And, and, and what I'm trying to say is that Every time you see the news now, it's all agenda. There's no, again, we are already in a pandemic. And what some people say that we're, they're going to bring up again, ridiculous, ridiculous. No, not ridiculous, because they sell it as serious. Just like now, there's serious crime. Don't show you crime. I'm not saying the crime didn't increase or it's not even related to some karmic. Uh, I don't want to say that, especially when it's in Montreal. And look, 17 murders within 2024, that, that's a lot. But this is what I'm saying. But also there's higher population. And I'm not saying... See, statistics is even used to prove psychic phenomena. So I'm not, I'm not uh, debating that there's more crime. It's just I, I am questioning if those rules or laws are used for good. Or like I've seen... Again, I'm going to give a little bit of that test. Or like I've seen them applied in a, in a perfectly disgusting, monstrous, criminal way that the people that apply that law... Even the people that should be jailed for life. But this is an ideal utopian world that would get itself in a grip. That's, but because they think, well, we are, we're allowed as long as it looks. Because for them, we have the status. We have the money. We control the laws. We are the judges. So we'll let the judges corrupt as long as it. So what the people that probably made uh, all those people, all those charges against Trump, even if there's some truth to it, the people doing those charges and their agendas and their crimes in their life, which are not even being looked at, like the ones for Biden, are a billion, trillion times bigger, but maybe not in an obvious way, but they're there. And this is what I say. The people accusing now, anybody accusing and winning in court is most likely to be the devil himself, meaning is in a polarized way. Anybody that wins now, anybody that has some paperwork that works, Unless it's something like black or white, meaning unless it's something simple, uh, the kids are starving, you feed them, uh, there's a war, you bring a peace representative, what's not happening or in Gaza, it's starting a little bit that they're, when, when Netanyahu is totally out of control, he does whatever he wants, oh, sorry about that, I killed a few, uh, a few here, a few there, oh, well, that makes it better because he's sorry, you know, come on. It's just that people with power are so drunk with it, so it's just amazing, amazing that this could go on. And like I said, I'm trying to stay totally away from this one and totally away even from spirituality because right now it's not even, I don't even know where I could bring in something related to spirituality because there's nothing spiritual going on. Everybody is so polarized, myself included, because they just trigger, 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 attack, attack. You're always in fight or flight. Fight or flight is the bottom chakra. If you see the seven chakras, the basic, basic ones, it's the bottom one. That's it. There's no other way. You're in a fighting zone. You're not considering or contemplating your soul. You're contemplating just the illusion of this temporary life. They're always keeping you on your toes, always fighting, fighting, checking. When I go out, there is no peace. There is no calmness. And it's not my mental state. Like they, And see, that's the cherry. But that's what I mean. The horrors that they're going to suffer. And I think it's starting to hit them a little. I don't know. Maybe I'm uh, cautiously optimistic saying that. But I think some people are starting to see, and I think unless they're totally ignoramus stupid, the statistics that I've, just the things that I've said, even if you want to say by some, but that's what I mean. You have to say by some rare chance, there are one coincidence after another that are events that are like Nostradamus big time events. So you cannot disclaim and it's not that I'm happy that I have this kind of power watching over me, not watching over, like protecting me directly. See, I'm not delusional like they say, but I'm going to say, just like people know, well, if God is so good, why does he let crime go on? Because even the criminals or the alleged criminal, nobody is a criminal. People are misguided. People are misguided. That's why you see me sometimes apologizing for things that I shouldn't. If you want to compare me to the people that are making my life miserable, which it's not one person, it's organizations, government, policing. So what I'm trying to tell everybody is that it all depends on your point of view. But the truth is one. That's why they don't want me to speak. They, don't, they want to shut me up and they want to take away my credibility. If it's not my freedom, at least 
90 percent of my oh but that, that's no <laughs> i want to say this now i'm not going to talk about my uh, my work with my social worker and, and i don't want to talk even work or lack of their uh, what i'm trying to say is that it's all about one lie on top of another one and then going from the point of view of that lie so for people that are polarized and living on 3d the devolutionary people which is about 75 percent of the planet right now people that matter not the general population we don't know where they stand because some of them are just plainly out of fear they won't participate but then again if somebody doesn't participate that means they're not in their sovereignty totally they might know they might sense some things about spiritual science let's look at it that way or intuitive science and logic nature but they they are not fully comfortable risking especially their comfort zone on 3d in this system that has now i think it's starting to hit the level of like when the ss was already controlling the german army we are already headed more towards more than 50 percent of and if people don't see it mind you there will be a price if you don't see it because sooner or later you're going to see it because you're going to wake up and say shit i'm part of a nazi system <laughs> So welcome to the new reality. Like they see, see they 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 call call us into like lull us or like a lullaby into it's a new reality. Oh, this is this. So then the government decided to fix that problem. We have to do this. So they tell you what they're doing. They tell you their decision. They tell you why, but they're not giving you any vote. <laughs> yeah, they might give you a vote once every what four to eight years or whatever. Once every four years, a, a little bit, but it's. Say, which of the devils will you choose? One person or the other, which are similar? They're like maybe 30% different at best. Now, because we've had some, you know, some people just, I think, to get voted in, they'll go with the pure natural respect, equality, help the folk that are working. And they're always, when they say help the folk that are hardworking, it's already the idea that you have to be hardworking and they have to be collecting your money. <laughs> Even though they don't say it directly, I come from a family like you, but now I'm better than you because I happen to be voted in. So you're my bitches. Welcome, awaken to the reality that has always been, but now it's getting more like, visual and auditory that we are in a pure especially canada much much worse than the united states we are a pure living dictatorship if people believe that the testimonials i put right now never mind gaza there would be a revolution not because the crime is physically bigger than gaza but there should be demonstrations in montreal for me <laughs> that's a, a a functionally intuitive plan and not because I, as people know, I don't take myself seriously. See, I only added it in at the end. It's not about this. It's this is what should be happening because the proof is 100% and it's in my videos. Maybe they're not all there now, the ones about, but w my statements, you cannot lie about the things I said. It does not make sense. Nobody would come up with that. Not even an insane person for real would be able to come up with my story and back it up with statistical proof of being followed. There is just like... You would have to say it's one in maybe 500,000 chances that what I'm saying is not exactly what I'm saying. If you do, if you are a person that has studied, especially Mr. P, something in the and you and you look at it from an investigative and circumstantial, who has reason to lie, who has reason to do sneaky things, who has reason to gaslight, then everything I said is not 100% possible and true. But it's a hundred trillion percent possible. I know I'm trying to embellish it with numbers, but think about it. Just think about it. There's no way things like that could happen. I mean, come on, you know, it's like somebody comes up to you and slaps you. It's the same thing. If you don't see it, it's like something you say, oh, I didn't do it on purpose. And someone grabs your hand and they... And they have their nail out by accident and you get scratched. So it's the same thing that happened to me. Somebody hands me something or a police officer smiles and there's mutilation of my body. How can you? It doesn't matter if you don't see him with an axe axing me and if it's a gadget that, it, that gets under my... It doesn't matter. And you know they use it. You know they're advertising it about uh, Germany uh, or, or Russia, but they use it too in Montreal. And this is what I'm trying to tell people. Please believe me. Na, 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 na. <laughs> it's that, that, uh, what's his name there? Um, uh, Brian Adams. Please believe me. 
I don't, no, no, no. I can't stop loving you. I can't stop loving the torture they're giving me. It's so beautiful. It's so well orchestrated. And especially when it's people they pay because they're fed up of getting those SS types trainees for the new world domination. Hey, they all look the same. I think they're genetic clones. They're, they're, they're saying there's baby. Fr- they all look freaking the same. <laughs> One day I have to get a gadget camera that from a coat. I, I know, but now that I'm saying it, they're going to be checking for that. Because one time I was at a police station down, downtown. And it was the, when it started that I was panicking from the ambulance. So I was in a panic state. So they were saying, ah, they didn't even look into it. Okay, so we come here in. And right away, they wanted to lock me up in psychiatry because they know they don't do that, right? That's why the whole system of Montreal is so, like, on track. And I was thinking it was only the undercover police and rare occasions that they tormented some. No, you see the people from Station 26 smiling at me. And they're like, but not recently. Obviously, they haven't done it all the time. But it's like they're saying we could do what we want, but prove it. But prove it. So this is the real world. Yeah, right now, how can you say that the whole government is corrupt? People say, you're crazy. Okay, they're a little strict or they're a little this. They're like, no, they're monstrous and they have no morals and they don't care about our health and they don't care. They just want to give you the, 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 the symbolic illusion. Just like fluoride, everybody that knows anything about science or anybody that is sensitive with their health knows that you feel sick. Just like when you eat a vegetable that's who, who, who is sensitive a bit like to chemicals. If you eat organic vegetables and you eat the ones from farms, especially with pesticides, you see the difference. Your stomach burns, it's irritated, and you feel like sick sometimes when you eat vegetables. I don't eat a lot of vegetables because I can't afford the organic. And when you eat them, you just feel sick. So that's why I'm saying even in the building, I wasn't saying it. I just say, please. And it's not about natural or not natural. If something is meant to kill, duh. Do you need a bazooka to kill someone? All you need is a pencil and you slam it in somebody's ear and it's finished gone bye bye you don't know the the work that the governments and the policing system are doing to seem as if they're there to help but they're not they care nothing i mean me i wake up every morning and i say come on i had a bad dream that the whole montreal system was because me too i think it's crazy but that's why they say well we could do it people are going to think he's crazy what well, they're going to think that the whole of montreal put... but that's what gives them the authority to do it it's like Carl Schwab because well we have the money you put a chip in my brain in your brain and i know what you're thinking he says it because what could we do about it it's going to say because on ctv though they'll say well the chip is there to help people walk Oh, but now because there's a lot of people having these symptoms, then we're going to put it in more people's chip. But now because the whole system is going to be changed from money to this, then it's going to start with money. Then it's going to start with other reasons because there's other things from the environment or from natural disaster viruses that something is going to come up. Oh, we need to put a chip in your brain to help you walk or to help you fight something or to... They, they, they are to identify you. It's going to first start. And in some places they are already... Put the, uh, the 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 chip in the hand, but they're calling me crazy. I'm putting, the, I'm saying that they put a chip in my hand, which was definitely a possibility. But it was even more morbid what they did. But that's the whole point. They, whatever they do, they laugh at your face. They tell you, look. Even when I said the police is falling, oh, you're crazy. But they said it on the news. So people are so dumb. I'm sorry, I'm not calling whoever's watching this dumb, especially if you're the police, because you're you don't want me to say this obvious. So on the news, they say, yeah, yeah, the government admitted that they, they spied on 70% of the population and they did this, and, but it was for this, that, yeah, they admitted it. So that's like, they're not saying you could or, or contest that. No, so then, but when I say it and I show the video of the, of the ambulances that are fake or police, and you see now my video, they'll say, look, he's crazy. We're going to lock him up and get him evaluated. So who should be evaluated for draconian monstrous dictatorship type behavior they're laughing at my face and at your face every time somebody whether it's my social worker uh, even apple picks because they think that they're protected no they're not not because you're behave evil that you're necessarily even people that are evil they fight within each other right you think gaza and, and amas and netanyahu are both good people no but the innocent people are the israelis being tortured and whatever, raped, kidnapped, and also Gaza now, even kids being bombed. That was nothing to do with the war. Even if they're somehow related to Hamas, doesn't mean they're Hamas. Me, I don't, I don't consider myself, I would have never perjured myself like my brother. And I hate saying this, and it's not to punish him, and it's going to make me, make him hate me even more. But hate doesn't bring anything. Revenge, 
It brings you temporarily sad. Who's going to even know? Sometimes what, like the, the police would, it's temporary revenge. And when you smile at me, you, you think I'm going to suffer more. Yeah, I'm going to suffer for what you do to me. Yeah, the physical part, that's it, police. I love and forgive you. But again, I say it's going to bring even faster that you're going to have to cough up a payment for that. What you do, you have to pay for that. This is your choice. I'm not forcing you to do crime, right? I'm not forcing anybody to be evil. I'm not forcing the bombs falling on Gaza or in Ukraine or in Russia. They're doing it, right? Is it my fault because I'm an evil? People make it seem as if anything that happens in the world is my fault. <laughs> like before they used to laugh at me when I was like, but that was basically without, they were less corrupt. They say, oh, let me guess, everybody's against you. I say, no, but sometimes it seems like nobody wants to listen to my particular health problem. Then from one, that it went to say Mary's going further and further into the psychological part of the diagnosis and forgetting the physical one. And then when I went to the Minister of Health, which was indirectly, it wasn't a direct complaint against St. Mary's, but then anything, you're crazy, I'm bleeding, go to psychiatry. Okay, so it doesn't make sense. Everything is blatantly... See, I went back to the, the trauma because I am traumatized, I am suffering, yes, but it's not something I can't handle. All that would have to happen would have to be that the trauma stops. The aggression, the violation. That's it. It feels, it feels a lot like rape. That's why in French, the word violé is the same thing as violated in English, which violated in English, it means like attacked or something like that. So this is what I'm saying. And I was telling that to my social. I feel like, I feel like a woman. See, that's why I'm saying I totally understand because we have to accept our male and female polarities, whether you're LGBT, this, that. I feel exactly relating right now if I, w I could go to a group i might even go and they're gonna say what are you doing here i'm gonna say well i'm being <laughs> tortured and nobody believes me so there's no group for that i think it's much so but saying if they would ex it's just an exaggeration but it makes sense i'm being raped every day it the feeling is worse because at least i'm not going there but you know what i'm trying to say because it's still physical torture and you're not believed the idea that i compare myself to women that are being raped is the idea that it's happening every day practically it's putting my health at risk. To what level? I don't know yet. And some days it's worse than others. Maybe now the last two times I got it, I don't know if they got me in a, they did it on purpose. They put less strength. Look, it's like saying the dosage of the medications. It's like, even though at the hospital, I refuse the medication. They inject me with whatever they want and every day and they'll pay people. They'll do whatever it takes. And yes, I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes there's half seconds but it's already the person is not there and the urge in my stomach, that animal instinct to say, yeah, you want to go that way? <laughs> Meaning is, yes, I do know the flavor of people like Netanyahu now, revenge. Yes, there is a certain passion with revenging against somebody that hurts you. But to me, it lasts not even a second. Imagine how advanced I am. I'm not saying I'm better than all the people torturing. And when I feel it, I say, okay, I could still sometimes go deep deep down in my suffering and see how they're triggered even by me by just saying please stop hurting me for them it's enough no Shh. like that office Shh. we gotta torture you follow you torment you and you might end up in psychiatry see they weren't that bad to you it's like but Shh. you can't even tell anybody about it that's the message. That's monstrosity. And the fact that when I do it, the more I complain, the more they say, he's crazy, look at him. He's crazy. The police will never do that. Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? There's the proof. No, no, no. That could be a, an alien spacecraft that threw that on your... It's, it's disgustingly delicious. What was that thing? It's na 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 So, uh... There's no way I'll get out of the trauma. It's with me till the end. Sometimes part of me says, I, I wish I could see in their faces or in their thoughts, all the people when they, when they realize, or maybe they might not realize it. They're going to be totally in their problem in their life. They're going to say, oh, what does that have to do? Oh, that was my job. I had to do that. You know, everybody's going to say it was my job. Just like the SS, the guy explains it. Well, if you, if you don't follow what they say, nowadays maybe you lose your job, but in those times you lose your life. And soon it will be that way, that you lose your life right away. In Russia, it's like that already. And we're supposed to fight Russia, Canada, my dear Canadians and Montreal police, when you're becoming worse. Because at least Russia, you know. Here, I didn't know. You think people, and I admit it, even now I take a compromise. 
but they don't want to give a compromise. They just want to break me down mentally, or I don't want to say the other obvious. So this is it. This is it. This is where I see that I continue to report, and I continue to tell you God will interfere directly. Not just for me as an individual. As for me, that I'm part of even the people doing the crime against me. This cannot go on. People, you know, it, it, just the way I'm talking, I don't think there's any psych. I, I mean, how does a psychiatrist evaluate just because you say it? <laughs> right now, I say there's a colony uh, in my, uh, I don't know, on my balcony, a colony, a colony of little, uh, like that movie, there are little cowboys and Indians. and play- I could say that and I could say, no, 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 don't contest it. You're crazy if you think that's not. So that's what these guys are doing. They're, they're doing the crime. I have the evidence, but they're saying, no, 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 that you're crazy. So even they admit it on TV, yeah, we follow people. But in my case, it's just like me. I say I have environmental sense. I didn't say it now once to try to avoid school or try to collect money. No, I've said it for the last 30, 40 years, even more than 40 years. So it is definitely with prejudice, with flavor that they're trying to destroy me, break me down, torture me. And just that it's happening means that the world is gone. And it's not only in other countries, it's at home. The crime, the war is home, my dear Montrealers, especially you police, if you have kids. You want them to suffer what I've suffered? Huh? Think about it there.